up until about 2008, business was easy. Everything was kind of easy. Orders came easy. We didn't really have to work very hard. And so we built the business just because economic times were good. And then the economic downturn of 2008 had a dramatic impact on our business. And the things that worked prior to 2008 didn't work anymore. And through lots of trials and tribulations, we came out on the backside of that and said, you know what? We aren't going to survive if we keep doing what we did. And that's how we've evolved into today, really taking a look at a lot more of the custom work. We are seeking out something that's uh, it's not easy. Not everybody can do it, and it requires more time and more effort. If you put the time and the effort in, that the results on the backside make it worth that effort. Because and it, it just limits the playing field. Not everybody is willing to do those things, so you kind of create your own your own market there. Some of these jobs they're they're complex in either profile or the sheer volume of the job. There could be as over a hundred profiles on a job. Uh, it could involve multiple species. It could involve uh, specific lengths or maybe even a type of design that is not typical in this type of market. Not everybody can do them, and we found that, that we're, we're not only good at doing them, but it's something that we have a great passion for. Uh, we enjoy pro providing this service, and in the end, it saves our customers a lot of money because they get it right the first time and when they need it. Things like finishing, uh, priming, sanding, uh, drilling, uh, chopping the length on angles, having some CNC work done on pieces, from that aspect, we felt that there was a market that we could uh, go after, and, and we would like to promote ourselves as that. That's who we think we are today. This is actually going into a machine that's being made here in the States that's going to be shipped to Finland. The week he needs it, our customer calls his vendor and says, hey, do you have my wood done? The guy said, I got busy and I'm not doing it for you. So he called me and he said, can you get me this in a week? So ultimately, by asking the right questions on the front end and knowing what this machine's ultimate use was going to be, we knew what we had to make so that the customer in Finland gets what they need. And that's really the important part. So we're finding that, that a lot of these types of jobs, they crop up in cities like, like Philadelphia or Washington, D.C. or Boston, a lot of historic renovation going on in those types of larger cities. And we found that, uh, that when it comes to these high-end exacting jobs, that uh, that we're a good fit for them and we can ease their worries when it comes to buying out their molding packages. It's not a commodity job. We like to work with our customers and working through some of these neat, different, unique projects. People are looking for something different. We want to be part of providing that something different.